I'm so short in this crowd. You can't even see me. It's not telling. We might have found someone. What's happening with the internet? Well, we don't normally have any problems with the internet, but um, we added a load of new staff into the office, and now we've lost all Wi-Fi. We don't know why, but I want to get to the bottom of the puzzle. Hello, how are you? You okay? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Good. Good. Thank you for um, jumping on. It would be a case of sort of reaching out to the media. If it's going to be running for a long period of time, you want to make sure that you cover all avenues. You know how to use Premiere Pro? You did the editing? Yes, I did the editing, yeah, because for the video share. Yeah, specific technical side of it is really covered in this interview. Do that we'd love to do sort of a, a flash mob sort of thing in King's Cross Station and get some media coverage of it. You know, whether it works or doesn't work, it's one of those things. We say that every staff member should experience a silent disco. In a lot of our events are nationwide. They're not, you know, in Essex or even London, you know. So remember what we do is a lot of dry hire where we just ship it out, ship it back. But I'll certainly be in touch towards the end of the week. No, I liked him. I think, you should, I think you should check his references and make him an offer. How did your interview go yesterday? Yeah, very good. It was a fourth interview for this particular candidate. Um, and we've offered them a job. So um, new marketing manager is coming on board. I mean, they're actually starting next week, which is really, really quick turnaround. So we've just had them all set up. We're really looking forward to welcoming him to the team. One of the rules they always say is four or more interviews for a senior role within the business. So I, we never used to do this, but when it's a senior role, you know, having my assistant, she'll interview them first. If she thinks they're good, then they'll come and meet our operations manager. Then on that third interview, I'll meet them um, and also have the other two in the interview because they might think they're really good and then I'm asking questions and then they may answer it a bit differently and think, oh no, they're not as good as before. And then the fourth interview for senior roles is we actually get them to do a presentation based on the job description of their plan of action, their battle plan for the business. We narrowed it down from about 15 and we treat it as a deselection process, so we want them to deselect us rather than us all sort of the other way around. The office is filling up, we're growing, and we're always looking for really talented people. The other thing that really helps is you can't do everything. As a business owner, like if you're not good at development, get a web developer. If you're not good at social media, get a social media manager. Too many business owners try and do everything, and it's like a half-hearted approach. So We've learned that over the years that as you grow, I'm always thinking who, not how. So AP is great, he's on the camera, he's great at editing, and we just utilize our team of like what their strengths are. And once you pull that all together, teamwork makes the dream work. I don't know if you, if you know how our service works, but where we send all the equipment out on Thursday, Friday, it then gets all collected on Monday, delivered back to, to us on Tuesday. Um, one week deep, he just come back to us and said, we've cancelled all collections, we can't serve them. We just can't do it, we're going to cancel them all. We did vans, we did UPS, which were, I thought, oh, you're going to pay a really premium price for UPS, and it was, they lost two of them. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that many, that was 10 grand worth of kit gone. And the problem with yeah. our service, I've totally explained, like, your people the, screaming at you. There is no, there's no allowance for delay. Mm. Like customers, like I'm getting delivery on that day, and to mm. them that is their expectation. So if it's coming the day after, it's a disaster. I'll be on the phone. I'll be yelling at Alex. The good thing for me, for you, is your product is so easily identifiable. Mm -hmm. I know Mark brought to my attention there was a couple of by twelves which just didn't go on, and to me that's like a premium service. Yeah. If it's got a by twelve on it. got recommended to these guys and they are experts at covers for custom trailers. Yeah, they're gonna get some new covers made, come up with some ideas. We're gonna have to um, find a company just to look at the weight distribution of the trailer because it is something that can cause problems. It's all right, but it can be better. And we always strive to be better. I've driven this a lot and I, and I do think that the weight distribution of the trailer just needs that little bit of improvement. You hit 50 and the sway on it is insane. But it's also like a sail. But that is bolted on 
then have another row, you slide in, it's got holes into a receiver and you just bolt that down and tension it down. So you could probably do it quite easily. But I reckon that your sway yeah. is because of the weight. Yeah, it know. looks like it. Yeah. If you brought that and down. And we're 3.48 ton on that. If you could bring that down, because you can get the converter plates yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of that. Hello. We're um, just at a new venue that we've been working with at the moment. We're super excited. They're going to be putting on an event. They've confirmed their first silent disco and then hopefully we're going to be looking at doing sort of one a month for them uh, moving forward. Come and have a look at this. Hello. It's a shame about it, do I think it should have been on the deck and it should have been in the sun. 12 till 5 in the afternoon. Yeah, we the talked about the summer afternoon. Yeah. We talked, we yeah. said, like, see how it goes. 12 till 5, yeah. So they arrive at 12, have something to eat, and then you start one and finish at 5. Yeah. So they've got an event happening tonight. Um, as I said, we're here next Saturday. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they'll have a really good event with the team tomorrow. And then moving forward over the summer, the summer's the best thing. I'm going to show you outside. Look at this. It's not it's not quite Mauritius, is it? But it's not bad. In the summer, this filled up. We we're thinking about doing some cinemas here or a deck party with silent disco. So I think this has great potential following the first event. Whenever we're here, honey mustard chicken. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, however, obviously, with it being Premier Pro, Canva, and doing designy stuff, will that have the capacity for what he's going to do on Premier Pro? If he's doing video editing in Premier Pro, then he'll probably want the graphics card. Uh, well, let's do that, because sure. it could be Monday. Okay, well, uh, as soon as Monday. Yeah. How was um, the internet last night? Did you finally fix it? Yeah, great new IT company. They've um, redone the whole network. And we said like when we first had that network, it was when there was four people in the office, um, four computers, four phones in our first unit. And we've sort of just unplugged it and plugged it back in at the new one. And yeah, we're scaling big time. So we need a, uh, a really, we need a really reliant network for the team. So they've done it, happy, really nice guy. Um, everything's working again. It's May and it's bloody freezing, but here we are. We're outside the Pink Toothbrush. This is one of the venues that we supply to very regularly with Silent Disco. They've built it up over some time um, and they've got 600 headphones tonight. So we're going to go in, check in with the client, see behind the scenes at Silent Disco. So come on in, let's go. So we're at one of our new venues that we're providing headphones to. This is their third event with us now. They've got 630 headphones here tonight. And as you can hear, I can't even hear myself think. Great crowd in. It's half past 12 at night, so they're on till 4 a.m. tonight. We're super excited about this one. They've just booked another six over the summer, and this is what it's all about. People ask us all the time, are silent disco silent? I think this proves tonight they are definitely, definitely, definitely not silent. So we're going to have a walk around, see what's going on. We're going to check in with the DJs who do this week in, week out. They're super, super cool. How many have you got in here at the moment, do you think? He's pushing 600, so... Even now? Yeah, yeah. And are you here every week? I'm here every Friday, yeah, yeah. And is it, if you weren't having Silent Disco, would it be as busy? Not by this time. Not by this time? We had probably double, maybe triple the amount we would normally have by like 11, half 11. It's such a mixed crowd, and that's what I think is so good about Silent Disco. We brought this channel out after 10 years because we really want to share with the world behind the scenes of a Silent Disco and behind the scenes of an entrepreneur and the different companies that we run. But it all comes down to this moment of why 
I started it, hearing the noise, watching people in their own little world. We'll try and get a few shots of that. Um, it's very, very humbling when I come to these events and see people loving it. just brought karaoke out and it's literally in a box delivered to your house have a, and you can do it with headphones without headphones yeah. I, I know um, where you are because you've dropped off and picked up I know exactly so you had to come down when you heard it was on thank you thank you thank you mate what a nice guy he's hired us he had to come down because he's been to one of our silent discos so that's what it's all about isn't it so we've just finished up at the venue for Silent Disco. They're going on till 4 a.m. It's now 1 a.m., way past my bedtime. But yeah, we'll leave the team to it. And yeah, just super excited to bring you into that venue. They're selling it out every week. And we talked about nightclubs being dead. This nightclub is definitely not dead. They've had Silent Disco. They've built it up over a period of time. And now it's one of their highlight nights of the month, every single month. So we hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go to bed and we'll see you back in the office tomorrow. Let's go.